your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And yes, welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Thanks so much for spending some time with us here. We got a great lineup for you today. Uh, Gunner Bernacki. Guardian Protection. We're going to talk about home security and this new law in California that was just recently passed. You won't believe the latest law uh, that is, I guess it hasn't passed yet, but it's working its way through uh, in California uh, relating to uh, storefronts and uh, shoplifting. Uh, Nick Shriver as well, decorating elves uh, in studio, uh, going to be in studio with us today. Also, Jay Smith, the Snoop Dogg, a Snoop Inspections uh, in studio today as well. And we always like to help you, you know, save time and money when it comes to buying, selling, and investing in real estate. Of course, 80 different categories also that we uh, have connections in. Uh, Everything from attorneys, CPAs, financial advisors, home service providers, uh, airline industry experts, boating and yachting experts. Lots of ways we can help you here. 10 years on air, serving as your consumer advocate, consumer quarterback show, consumerqb.com. And also an interesting story in the news right now as well is Mel Gibson making a documentary on child sex trafficking. Uh, We're going to go through this uh, article that just came out, What We Know, uh, but it's an interesting, it's a $34 billion child sex trafficking market, and uh, it's going to be involving countries like Ukraine, etc. So interesting to see with what what Mel Gibson may do here. We're going to talk about that uh, coming up as well. Now, before we do, we always like to feature our real estate listings live on air, part of our strategy to help sellers sell faster for more money. And we've got a couple of hot listings here. This one's 3704 Burger Road in Lutz, Florida. This is a great opportunity. This is a mansion that we've got for sale, 10,000 square feet. 10 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, no CDD or HOA. You got an indoor pool, full bar area, oversized deck, uh, full tennis courts, library, movie theater, sauna, two master suites, a grand balcony. And I hear that the wood uh, used in the wood flooring is straight from Noah's Ark. I mean, it's some really unique stuff <laughs> going. There, Burger Road, Lutz, Florida, Hillsborough County, hot listing there. We're doing some virtual open houses as well. I've got a Keller Williams agent that is uh, going to be doing some really awesome uh, virtual open houses so stay tuned uh, for that we're gonna have multiple cameras set up really awesome stuff that we are innovating again with the platinum mvp team libyan coastal elite uh, another listing that we really like right now is the 605 monterey avenue uh, beautiful single family home here in clearwater great location on monterey now this one has a pool it's a screened in pool private pool in your backyard no neighbor to one side it's a non-flood zone three bedrooms two baths 2163 square uh, square feet and you got a beautiful circular driveway a large courtyard in the center Uh, beautiful property you can see all of our real estate listings at platinumcoastalelite.com that's platinumcoastalelite.com all right snoop dogg back in studio welcome back sir hey Always oh, glad to be here. It's been a long time. I mean, I yeah, can't, can't imagine how long have I been on the show now. I know, man. Gosh, probably like, nine years. Yeah, eight or nine years. What yeah. I was thinking. Right at be nine coming years. up on a decade. Holy, isn't that holy. crazy? That's a long time, man. That's a long time. We appreciate you, and, and uh, our audience appreciates you, uh, you as well. And you know, we it's all it's always come from that approach of being a consumer advocate. Mm-hmm. You know, how can we help people? Uh, because we're industry experts. We see this stuff every day. Uh, so let's start with that. What, what's some of your top tips right now? Yeah, I, I mean, still the toughest thing. I know we've talked about it multiple times is the insurance reports. I mean, four points. They're just driving everybody crazy, having to look for new insurance and really make sure that they're done correctly. I mean, I think, mm-hmm. unfortunately, there's a lot of guys that just miss stuff that they should have put on there mm-hmm. and they're not. And then I come behind it and say, look, you really, really need to repair this item or bad roofs or roofs with uh, permits that aren't finished out. I mean, there's a lot of that. I just ran into another one. And yeah, it, it was done during it was actually a townhouse community and a few of the roof permits weren't closed out and they were done in, early on during COVID. Mm. And I just think they kind of slid through the cracks mm. and basically the permits expired now and you have to give them a heads up. Say, hey, they should be recontacting these roofers or the city and find out what happened because it could be a city issue right yeah you know, they weren't going in i mean there could be so many things going right. on 2020 2021 yeah that you run into these little hiccups and they have to be taken care of one way or another 
So what happens in that situation? Because we do have these different scenarios that come up. It's like, hey, I see that there was a roof put on. There was no permit pulled. Or it could be other parts of the house, maybe new windows, et cetera. What happens in that situation? Well, let's say it's even a, a, a roof that was put in you know, 2019. Let's say it's only like four years old. And it was the old um, uh, owner that did it. If you happen to know what roofer did it and they didn't get a permit, you can contact them. If you don't know, you end up really getting into an engineer mm. and hiring an engineer. And the, the, most of the municipalities, I can't speak for all of them, mm-hmm. they'll end up letting you have get a new permit and have the engineer sign off on it. So as long as they certify it, hey, yeah, this is an estimated age. Yeah. Now, it's going to cost more. Right. I mean, you're going to still pay a permit fee of 100 200 bucks, and pay uh, an engineer five or 600 bucks. So, I mean, instead of wow. being a couple hundred dollar permit, now it's six or eight hundred bucks, but it's not a fifteen thousand dollar new roof. Right. So it's still cheaper. Exactly. No matter what. Yeah, it's still a win for the for the purchaser, the homeowner yeah. on that kind of And sometimes homeowner. if you catch this while you're trying to buy the home, you you try to get the, the homeowner to take care of it. Right. You know, that's what you have to do. Yeah. And then secondly, probably goes to breaker boxes. Oh, yeah. Still still running it. Well, I would say the big one you run into anymore is the challengers, just because they were Put into pick, pick, put into place in houses up until the nineties. Mm. So there's people that don't even know that it's a bad box, and now really the insurance companies don't want the challenger panels. Right. And if you just join us, we're talking with Jay Smith, a Snoop Inspection, uh, longtime friend of the program, and uh, you know we talk about real estate a lot. Real estate such a main driver in the economy: commercial, residential, uh, even land development. You know, housing starts. We need to have more housing starts. I believe, of course, in, in Tampa Bay and Florida, uh, because of the lack of inventory. Mm-hmm. You know, we're still at low inventory levels. One point two month supply, eighty percent absorption rates uh, here. And you know, pretty almost all the counties are very similar: Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, even into Manatee. Uh, very similar absorption rates because uh, you know, of course, Florida last year plus three hundred nineteen thousand. Uh, net migration so people voted with their feet last year 319,000 people moved to the state of florida and you know california dead last california's dead last on that list uh, imagine people, that 347,000 mass exodus you can't get a u-call you couldn't get a u-haul coming you know going back to california they're all leaving california yeah well i mean i wonder i know we've gotten some of the california residents they've actually come all the way to florida but i i would imagine most of them are going to Arizona, Texas, Colorado. Yeah, I, I mean, just as a guess, I, yep. I don't know that for a fact. I think so. Yeah, Idaho. I mean, yep, yep, exactly. Exactly. That, that, that's the places they're going. Well, it's it's definitely a different world now. It really is today. You know, a lot happened since this this China virus came over, didn't it? Yes, absolutely. Lots of changes. Um, I mean, but I don't I don't know where New York stands these days. If they're holding or if they're they still oh, they're have losing. a certain certain exodus yeah they're losing a lot of people we that's our uh number one state is um new york new jersey and illinois the top three that moved to florida oh yeah the top three okay yep they're having lots of fun down here huh? yeah exactly they don't like those they don't like those uh you know those lockdown rules you know the mandates you know that's a whole nother uh, you know influence uh you know did that have something to do with DeSantis? did he slow all that down i think that was the guy that kind of put a stop to he sure did that here in florida yeah he stood up he stood up and took on you know corporations like disney and uh you know a lot of these different you know ideologies that you know the indoctrination of the kids uh, he sure did well it's interesting you really don't hear about covid at all anymore Right. I mean, I understand it's act. You know, it's still active. Yep. It's still out there. I don't know to what extent. I haven't researched anything recently. But yeah. It's interesting you hear zero. Well, there was a, it was it was interesting because there was a friend of mine that actually just said he had it, and I said, "Wow, that's that's strange." So three years later, you finally got it. He goes, "Yeah." He goes, "I didn't know. I didn't think I had it at one point, and then he he got it. I forgot who that was, but it was it was really interesting because you know, here we are, like three years later, and he finally somehow ran across it." Well, going back to the California thing, I did see something on the news the other day about Arizona and thinking that a lot of them were moving to Arizona. There was areas that were going to almost halt construction. Hmm. They're basically saying they're running into a water issue. that they They won't have enough water supply that they're like basically stopping new construction completely. I could see that. And I don't know. I'm sure it's certain counties, but that's that's what I saw on the news like last week. 
Yeah, absolutely. Jay Smith, a Snoop Inspection here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm your host, Brandon Rimes. And uh, we'd like to touch on some of these cultural things happening, too, on this show. Uh, but, you know, I, I came across this on Twitter, and I just thought it was very interesting. It says, uh, you know, Mel Gibson is allegedly making a four-part docuseries on the $34 billion global child sex trafficking market, including countries like Ukraine. And uh, there's, you know, the tweet's got over 4 million views, uh, tens of thousand people liking it. Uh, you know, and he's the one that made Passion of the Christ and, mm-hmm. and some really, you know, of course, actor. Especially as a, making a follow-up to that. Yes, that's right. I've heard about that, too. Uh, but So this, this would be great. You know, hey, let's. Well, I mean, unfortunately, we are in a state that's number three on that list. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's California. I mean, all the big states, California, Texas, and, and Florida. Um, port so. states. Yeah. A, lot, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of times with ports. Yeah, and and it's uh, you know we had we used to have a relationship with uh, U.S. Institute Against Human Trafficking. We'd had John John Long on, and he would talk about you know the different aspects in, in this whole thing. And it's you know the open southern border is number one. Uh, you have also difficult to prosecute some of these crimes mm-hmm. uh, when you do catch the perp. It's like you're you're asking that person that went through the trauma to sit in a uh, courtroom. And stare at the other person that caused this trauma, and then relive those events. You know, so some of the some of the law enforcement side, and, and uh, you know, getting into the you know the courtroom side of that is is difficult. But yeah, I mean, there's I think there's a lot going on behind the scenes with this whole thing, and some of the bigger names that are involved. I mean, let's let's talk about Epstein, what happened <laughs> with his client list, and all the cover up that happened, and, and he mysteriously died in prison. Well, it's interesting. We know that they've got lists on the Epstein stuff, but yet. You know, we're not seeing it yet. Do yeah. we ever see those names one day? Right. I, I would assume so, but it yeah. could be two decades from now. Yeah. You know, the, the number, I, I forgot the stat I heard, but it was an interesting, I was listening to another podcast. I, I try to listen to a lot, a wide variety of different podcasts or other places to get my uh, information. But the, you know, the number of documents of, yeah, the number of documents that are deemed classified by the U- United States government would just blow your mind. The number of documents that are actually classified. How many states will it fill up? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you know, why don't we have the right to know and, and to to see where's transparency, right? Where's accountability? I think that's what a lot of people are getting at here. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to touch on that story there. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, commercial real estate also another area to talk about, Jay. Yeah. Um, you know, you do commercial inspections as well, yeah. and uh, you know, commercial is an interesting place because twelve point nine percent of all uh, commercial Real estate property is now vacant. That's a vacancy rate, the highest on record that we've ever seen. Yeah, uh, and there's a lot of states that are much higher than Florida, but it's still even a high number here in Florida. Yeah. And, and we've all heard the news lately, all of these different retailers going out. I mean, you've got um, Bed Bath & Beyond and um, Tuesday Morning and all these companies that are just folding up, but yet it's not yeah. talked about really as part of the economy right now. I mean, just it definitely seems like the numbers are up. Yeah, well, I think there's three main causes there. You got you got e-commerce, people mm-hmm. are buying online. You got work from home, and then there's also this this idea of repurposing shopping malls. Mm-hmm. You know, so that that's an interesting play. Yeah, and, and I've seen some repurposing. You know, not here in Florida. To me, I haven't seen it, but I've mm-hmm. seen it um, some articles in other states, and it's interesting what they've done with some of them. I yeah. I saw an article the other day about Target and Countryside, that Target's looking at Countryside Mall again and possibly taking every one of those spots. Wow, interesting. So. Yeah, Target's another name lost. Uh, last I saw, it was like 12 or $14 billion for yeah, their... I, yeah, I'm, I wonder if it already now. got tabled. Like, <laughs> we're not looking at exactly. any new locations for they a little while. They need to be contracting instead of expanding with what they did. But yeah, yeah it's pretty crazy stuff, man. Uh, so Jay Smith, a Snoop inspection here on Consumer Quarterback Show. Now, Jay, uh, homeowners can contact you directly. You do a lot of work with realtors. Uh, how else, what's what's kind of a final thought to you? Well, I mean, you, you can call our office, of course. Um, Kim's in there taking care of the phone, setting appointments. And that's 813-345-2600. But look, at, look us up online. Go to a-snoop.com a dash s n o o p dot com um check us out i mean we do work in the whole area i literally have inspectors that work from venice beach all the way up to the villages nice so we take in all the counties in the area so we've got a pretty expansive uh service area that's a great uh, coverage area, and uh, you know if you're selling a property, if you're for sale by owner out there, 
get that upfront inspection. We do a lot of those with our uh, listing clients as well. Smart move to do that. Jay Smith, A Snoop Inspections. Find him online. Also, he's on our website, consumerqb.com. Thanks, Jay. All right. Per- like, love being here. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Always good to catch up with you. All right. Taking a quick break. Coming back, Nick Shriver, Decorating Elves on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Talk about outdoor lighting as well. Coming up here. And PGA Tour combines with LIV. Uh, We're going to comment on that as well coming up here. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. This is Work Done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show hosted by my man, Brandon Rimes. Together. 